What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and yes, I know I'm finally back for more commentary. And if you guys want me to talk about any other topics in YouTube, uh, leave in the comment section, guys. I'm willing to talk about anything. I know some of you guys love my opinions and some of the conversations that I make up here in my channel. And uh, just leave in the comment section, guys. I'll read them later. So, anyways. Today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation Plus and how this thing is actually a scam. And I know a lot of people are going to be defending this situation because, you know, they're Sony fans, they're Sony boys, and I cannot believe these people are acting all blind. And, you know, myself, I've been playing the PlayStation since the first one, since the first big ass PS1. I used to have one of those and then it overheated and then the laser stopped working. So it wouldn't even read my disc anymore. And then I move on to the PS2, which is an amazing era. To be honest, like I bought Def Jam 5 for New York, Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2, the Tony Hawk series, Final Fantasy series. It was amazing, man. I just love the PS2 so much. And then the PS3 came along and you you're, you were required to like have internet on some certain games and then all of a sudden the ps4 now you are required to pay 60 dollars for a whole year of freaking online service like i think that's bullshit man that was a terrible move to be honest and now we're required to actually buy the playstation plus so what has playstation plus have done ever since we are required to buy it like since the first day of the ps4 i believe it hasn't improved nothing giving money to sony so far hasn't improved nothing at all so far my experience on the ps4 has been server shutdowns you know hacks ddosing whatever the fucking bullshit is going on hacks of course i just wanted to be a little bit exaggerated so i want to throw that out the window and just say ddos attacks and servers being down on holidays which is the most important day of the years because you know there's a lot of people be online they want to buy your stuff they want to play online you know you know wreck your service out there but they can't play because you don't upgrade your servers every time you go into maintenance we all know you ain't doing shit so we are paying $60 to Sony to sit on their asses all day and fuck us in the ass. That's what it is. But we got to pay it in order for us to play online, which I think is still fucking bullshit. So uh, another thing that's been happening also, you guys look in the background, there has been a release of the new free games for the PlayStation Plus on December. And these games are nothing special. Again, I know they are indie games. I know some people are going to be saying like, oh, I support indie games, man. No, indie all the way. But the thing is, if they keep on releasing the same bullshit, you know, platformers, like they always fucking do. There's nothing special about that. You want to keep on jumping on every single platform and shoot with one gun and that's it? Like what kind of... What's that? That's not creativity. You're just copying from other games. Every single PlayStation Plus, you know, release, free release, has been a platformer. How many of those are they going to keep on making? Man, I, I think there's a, like a base set for an indie developer to like create some of those and they just take it and resell it. I think that's what every single indie developer is doing at this point. So we're getting these games and nothing else. You know, that's it. I mean, come on, man. What about some AAA titles, man? Like, that, that would be nice. Some Killzone, some fucking, I don't know, some fucking Tony Hawk Pro Skater since that game fucking bombed. But instead, we got some more indie. So, I think Christmas at this point is fucking completely ruined. We ain't getting no good, good games at all. And they increased the price a few months ago from $50 to $60. We gotta pay $60 for a whole year of online service. And yet, they haven't improved on anything. So I think it's fucking bullshit. So far, PlayStation Plus hasn't improved. A lot of people are complaining and it shows on their YouTube channel. When people see their free lineup, it's just completely bullshit. Everybody's calling it. And Sony, I mean, come on, man. I'm a big fan of Sony. I love your Alex games. You know, whatever you're like, uh, have exclusives on. I love them. But if this bullshit keeps on happening, what am I supposed to do? Like, just let myself be raped by you? Like, what the fuck is this? I really don't want, want to take a part of this, so I don't know, man. I'm thinking of moving on to the Xbox because at least over there they have some exclusives that look pretty good. You know, I want to try out Gears of War and some other games they have exclusively over there. They released Tom Raider, Tomb Raider over there first instead of Sony. Like, really? <laughs> I would have loved to try that on day one, man. That game looked freaking fantastic. But, um, you know, Sony making us pay $60 for a service that hasn't been upgraded since day one. Instead, they release a PS4 4, uh, 4K, which looks nothing any better at all. You got to have a 4K TV at the same time. So you got to spend over $1,000 to even have anything functioning at 4K. And the games that you have right now are not even compatible with 4K. So what the fuck? Like, 
it, it doesn't make any sense like it, it's just it's just a money you know hugger that's, that's just one money it's like taking your hundred dollar bills right now that you earn from your hard work and just put it on the shredder that's sony right there <laughs> that's what sony's doing to you and every time i see my bank account that says like oh you know sony took this amount of money you know sixty dollars for the playstation plus like it only happens one time a month by the way like one one time uh per year sorry and every time i see that i'm like you know this is fucking bullshit they haven't done anything better the service hasn't been any better so that's my opinion about playstation plus guys hopefully you guys understand this is just a small rant and um uh, if you guys want to share this video, you know, go ahead. Uh, just I'm just a little bit frustrated because they haven't released anything for free. That's good. They released to us in the trash, and I respect indie games. You know, I, I like that the indie developers are trying to be underdogs out there and trying to release the next big thing. But when they keep on copying the same platformer over and over again, it's nothing special. At this point, indie developers are literally tainting themselves into becoming the next. You know just copy and paste indies that's all it that's how i see them now they're just copy and paste copy and paste platform 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 like move on man create something new so that is it that's the end of the rant guys hopefully you guys understand for those people that are watching you know subscribe and also like the video uh because that's gonna help me a lot you know the youtube algorithm is so fucked up right now if i don't get any likes this video is not gonna get out there so i appreciate the help so that is it subscribe for more you guys want to see more mr joe king john 74